Howdy there, turtles. It's Crick with Black Owl. Today, we're going to be trying out some new food that was sent to us uh, courtesy of Mountain House. Kenny over at Mountain House, thank you. So what we have today that we're gonna be testing out is actually their breakfast skillet. This is the breakfast skillet pro pack, and this is new sort of uh, graphics for them that will be coming out basically, I think, on all the products this year. And this meal is going for $6.79. A few things are different with this Pro Pack. It's a little bit smaller proportion wise and it's kind of hard to see because it's vacuum sealed. But basically this package is 500 calories. And what's in here? We got hash brown, scrambled eggs mixed with pork sausage patty, peppers and onions. I could eat breakfast uh, pretty much any meal of the day. So, But this is vacuum sealed for a few reasons. One, take up a little bit more, or excuse me, less space in a pack. And I asked Kenny, you know, why it was vacuum sealed. He said for that reason. Second, for those that are going to be using or taking this with, uh, with them to high elevations in the mountains, that potentially the freeze-dried food could expand when you get it to higher elevations. So it's vacuum sealed. It won't do that. Kind of cool, right? We'll talk a little bit more about Mountain House and these freeze-dried freeze food in general, but got the water going down right now. Take that off, get in here, take out that little freshness pack, which is right there. And then we see the goodies in there. Mmm. Mmm. Salivating yet? Why wait? Grab a mountain house. Okay. Got that opened up, set that down. Let me get that lid off and get this water in there. Make sure we still got a cup of water. That looks pretty good. So what I want to do is dump this in here carefully without knocking over the packet and without burning my hand. Might not be enough water. We're gonna we're gonna see. Spoon I made. Stir this around. Make sure I get all the corners. And then mm, seal this up. Seal on all that heat. Okay, so what we got now sealed up. I got the one cup of water in there. Stir and close. Optional after four minutes, stir it again. So let's stand about eight or nine minutes. What's really nice about these freeze dried and dehydrated food is that it's super efficient for packing food in your pack. If you're going to be going out camping, backpacking in that realm, because you're just carrying, you know, the food basically with all the moisture taking out of it, which moisture weighs a lot. So you get the benefit of having the food without the weight. You just add the hot water and a ready cooked meal in this conveniently, you know, sort of packaging and cooking container. You can use it as a trash bag after that because it has a seal top to it. And I've been pretty impressed with the with the flavors of Mountain House, and I've looked through the ingredients, but nonetheless, you know, not bad for uh, not bad for what it is. Let's say it's been about three minutes since I put that in there. I'll give it another five. That'll take me to. Seven five, carry the one divided by 1.5. Okay. While we're waiting, new spoon I made for myself out of some cherry wood that came from uh, my grandmother's yard. She had a cherry tree that's dying. I took down a limb. Actually, I think two limbs. But here's one of the spoons I made. Pretty cool, right? Maybe a little bit thin. Maybe it could thicken it up back here a little bit, but we'll see how she fares. Really fun, uh, fun carving and I plan to do actual you know series on uh, the carving tools I use so stay tuned for that and if you're interested in that let me know all right it's been four minutes I'm going to stir this as I mentioned before you could as an optional direction and I'll do that yeah I think the amount of water I put in there should work well should work well. You know, I'm going to taste test this. I'm kind of hungry. Pull a little bit out of there. See how it tastes real quick. Am 
not quite finished but not bad not bad maybe we could use some sriracha let this go another four minutes and then we'll my final impressions and start eating some all right time's up all right let's get in here should have brought some hot sauce i am a hot sauce addict i eat on everything oh i love hot sauce okay stirring this up Mmm. <laughs> not the most appetizing, but you know what? I pretty much eat anything. I'm not a super picky eater. So I got some potatoes on that, hash brown, a little piece of meat, egg. Take another bite. Take another bite. Honestly, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I, you know, that's kind of what I expect because, what is this, I think the third? The third Mountain House uh, meal I've done a video on. And the other ones have been really good, considering. Other ones have been really good, so not surprised that, you know, there's sort of a real medley of ingredients in this one. Doesn't taste too bad. You know, the texture's a little different. Definitely not as, uh, you know, the same consistency if you made this in a frying pan or anything like that, but it's pretty good, honestly. It, it really is, and would I carry this and take this? Yeah, I would. Like I said, I'll eat breakfast any time of the day. You know, a definitely uh, a decent meal from Mountain House. And these types of meals are great. I mentioned before about taking camping or backpacking, hiking, anything like that. But also I keep a couple of these in the back of my truck because you never know. You just never know. And it's winter time especially to have some extra supplies, you know, an actual kit in your car is a great idea. And having food, something like this, is a great idea to keep in your car. And just to have some of the house, you know, some non-perishable foods. I think this has about a 10 year, uh, 10 year shelf life which is, you know, pretty impressive. And overall, just, you know, a nice a nice little meal in a bag, self-contained, super easy to boil water. We were trying out this little stove today and that worked really well to boil that cup of water. So leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the video. If you like Mountain House, this is Craig signing out with a mouthful of food. Later, Charles.